Twister theory was proposed by Roger Penrose in 1967 as a possible path to quantum gravity and has evolved into a branch of theoretical and mathematical physics. Penrose proposed that twister space should be the basic arena for physics from which space-time itself should emerge. It leads to a powerful set of mathematical tools that have applications to differential and integral geometry, nonlinear differential equations and representation theory and in physics to relativity and quantum field theory, in particular to scattering amplitudes. Overview Mathematically, projective twister space P T display style math b p t is a three-dimensional complex manifold complex projective three space C P three display style math b C P caret three. Physically, it has the interpretation as the space of massless particles with spin. It is the projectivization of a four-dimensional complex vector space, non-projective twister space T. Display style math b t with a Hermitian form of signature two two and a holomorphic volume form. This can be most naturally understood as the space of chiral whale spinors for the conformal group S O four two z two display style so four two math b z underscore two of Minkowski space, it is the fundamental representation of the spin group S U two two display style su two two of the conformal group. This definition can be extended to arbitrary dimensions, except that beyond dimension four, one defines projective twister space to be the space of projective pure spinors for the conformal group. In its original form, twister theory encodes physical fields on Minkowski space into complex analytic objects on twister space via the Penrose transform. This is especially natural for massless fields of arbitrary spin. In the first instance these are obtained via contour integral formulae in terms of free holomorphic functions on regions in twister space. The holomorphic twister functions that give rise to solutions to the massless field equations are more correctly understood as check representatives of analytic cohomology classes on regions in PT these correspondences have been extended to certain nonlinear fields, including self-dual gravity in Penrose's nonlinear graviton construction and self-dual Young mills in Ward's construction. The former gives rise to deformations of the underlying complex structure of regions in PT, PT, and the latter to certain holomorphic vector bundles over regions in PT. These constructions have had wide applications. The self duality condition is a major limitation for incorporating the full nonlinearities of physical theories, although it does suffice for Young Mills Higgs monopoles and instantons. An early attempt to overcome this restriction was the introduction of ambitwisters by Witten and by Eisenberg, Yaskin, and Green. Ambitwister space is the space of complexified light rays or massless particles and can be regarded as a complexification or cotangent bundle of the original twister description. These apply to general fields but the field equations are no longer so simply expressed. Twistorial formulae for interactions beyond the self-dual sector first arose from Witten's twister string theory. This is a quantum theory of holomorphic maps of a Riemann surface into twister space. It gave rise to the remarkably compact RSV Royban, Spradlin and Volovich formulae for tree-level S matrices of Young-Mills theories, but its gravity degrees of freedom gave rise to a version of conformal supergravity limiting its applicability. Conformal gravity is an unphysical theory containing ghosts, but its interactions are combined with those of Young-Mills in loops amplitudes calculated via twister string theory. Despite its shortcomings, twister string theory led to rapid developments in the study of scattering amplitudes. One was the so-called MHV formalism loosely based on disconnected strings, but was given a more basic foundation in terms of a twister action for full Young-Mills theory in twister space. Another key development was the introduction of BCFW recursion. This has a natural formulation in twister space that in turn led to remarkable formulations of scattering amplitudes in terms of Grassmannian integral formulae and polytopes. These ideas have evolved more recently into the positive Grassmannian and amplituhedron. 
Twister string theory was extended first by generalizing the RSV Yang Mills amplitude formula, and then by finding the underlying string theory. The extension to gravity was given by Cachazzo and Skinner, and formulated as a twister string theory for maximal supergravity by David Skinner. Analogous formulae were then found in all dimensions by Cachazzo, he and Yuan for Young Mills and gravity and subsequently for a variety of other theories. They were then understood as string theories in ambitwister space by Mason and Skinner in a general framework that includes the original twister string and extends to give a number of new models and formulae. As string theories they have the same critical dimensions as conventional string theory, for example the type 2 supersymmetric versions are critical in 10 dimensions and are equivalent to the full field theory of type 2 supergravities in 10 dimensions this is distinct from conventional string theories that also have a further infinite hierarchy of massive higher spin states that provide an ultraviolet completion. They extend to give formulae for loop amplitudes and can be defined on curved backgrounds. The twister correspondence Denote Minkowski space by M displaystyle Math B M with coordinates X A equals T X Y Z displaystyle X caret A equals T X Y Z and Lorentzian metric eta a b display style eta underscore ab signature one three display style one three introduce two component spinner indices a equals zero one a equals zero one Display style a equals zero one a equals zero one, and set non-projective twister space t. Display style math b t is a four-dimensional complex vector space with coordinates are denoted by z alpha equals omega a pi display style z caret alpha equals omega caret a pi underscore a where omega a display style omega caret a and pi a display style pi underscore a are two constant whale spinors the hermitian form can be expressed by defining a complex conjugation from t display style math b t to its dual t display style math b t caret asterisk by z alpha equals pi a omega a display style bar z underscore alpha equals bar pi underscore a bar omega caret a so that the hermitian form can be expressed as z alpha Z alpha equals omega a pi a plus omega a pi a display style z caret alpha bar z underscore alpha equals omega caret a bar pi underscore a plus bar omega caret a pi underscore a this together with the holomorphic volume form epsilon alpha beta gamma delta z alpha d z beta d z gamma d z delta Display style var epsilon underscore alpha beta gamma delta z caret alpha d z caret beta wedge d z caret gamma wedge d z caret delta is invariant under the group SU two two a quadruple cover of the conformal group C one three of compactified Minkowski spacetime. Points in Minkowski space are related to subspaces of twister space through the incidence relation omega a equals I 
x a a pi a display style omega caret a equals x caret double a pi underscore a the incidence relation is preserved under an overall rescaling of the twister, so usually one works in projective twister space. P T display style math b P T, which is isomorphic as a complex manifold to C P three display style math b C P caret three, a point x element of M display style x in m thereby determines a line c p 1 display style math b c p caret 1 in p t display style math b p t parametrized by pi a display style pi underscore a a twister z Alpha display style z caret alpha is easiest understood in spacetime for complex values of the coordinates where it defines a totally null two plane that is self dual. If x display style x is taken to be real, then if z alpha z alpha display style z caret alpha bar z underscore alpha vanishes then x display style x lies on a light ray whereas if i z alpha z alpha display style z caret alpha bar z underscore alpha is non vanishing there are no solutions and indeed then z alpha display style z caret alpha corresponds to a massless particle with spin that are not localized in real spacetime. Variations Supertwisters Supertwisters are a supersymmetric extension of twisters introduced by Alan Ferber in 1978. Non-projective twister space is extended by fermionic coordinates where n is the number of supersymmetries so that a twister is now given by omega a pi a eta i i equals 1 n display style omega caret a pi underscore a eta caret i i equals 1 l dots math call n with eta i display style eta caret i anticommuting the super conformal group s u 2 2 n display style su 2 2 math call n naturally acts on this space and a supersymmetric version of the Penrose transform takes cohomology classes on supertwister space to massless supersymmetric multiplets on super Minkowski space. The n equals 4 display style math call n equals 4 case provides the target for Penrose's original twister string and the n equals 8 Display style math call n equals eight. Cases that for Skinner's supergravity generalization. Topic: Hypercolor manifolds. Hypercolor manifolds of dimension four k. Display style four k. Also admit a twister correspondence with a twister space of complex dimension. 2 k plus 1 display style 2k plus 1 topic palatial twister theory the nonlinear graviton construction encodes only anti self dual ie left-handed fields 
a first step towards the problem of modifying twister space so as to encode a general gravitational field is to ask to encode right-handed fields. Infinitesimally, these are encoded in twister functions or cohomology classes of homogeneity minus 6. The task of using such twister functions in a fully nonlinear way so as to obtain a right-handed nonlinear graviton has been referred to as the gravitational googly problem. The word googly is a term used in the game of cricket for a ball bowled with right-handed helicity using the apparent action that would normally give rise to left-handed helicity. The most recent proposal in this direction by Penrose in 2015 was based on noncommutative geometry on twister space and referred to as palatial twister theory named after Buckingham Palace, the place in which Michael Audia suggested to Penrose the use of a type of noncommutative algebra, an important component of the theory. See also Background independence Complex spacetime History of loop quantum gravity Penrose transform Spin network Twister strings Notes <laughs>